There are tricks just right for some kissing And I mean to kiss me a few Man, those chicks don't know what they're missing I got a lot of living to do Sizzling steaks all ready for tasting And there's Cadillacs all shiny and new Gotta move cause time is a-wasting There's such a lot of living to do There are men of 19 or 20 Who are suave and reckless and true Older men who give a girl plenty I've got a lot of living to do There's music to play, places to go, people to see Everything for you and me Crazy clothes and motorboat races to play, places to go, people to see, everything for you and me. If only you know it, and it's all just waiting for you, you're the one, so come on and show it. Split level nest, a 
And in every room, roses in bloom. But there's one rose sweeter than all of the rest, and that's my Rosie. I'm so glad you chose me. Life is one sweet, beautiful song. When love is right, then what can be wrong? Life is one sweet, beautiful song to me.
Everybody back? <laughs> All right, Gabby, I have you still. Why do I have you still? Hmm. What? Nothing, I've got you front and center. Are you talking? You're not talking. No. There we go. Now I can see everybody again. All right, hey folks. Thank you to Anna for doing that marvelous, um, that marvelous slideshow. Um, really appreciate it. Certainly one of the more enjoyable ones. Those of you who didn't uh, black out your faces, it was kind of fun watching them and all that. I know exactly what you're feeling. I feel it frequently around this time of year. A um, couple of little things before I start. Um, one, on the awards themselves, if you get an award, uh, we will be notifying you where to pick it up, either my house or Miss Merrill's house or another designated location, but it will be available once they all arrive, which is gonna be, we're hoping, for the middle of next week. Seniors, we should have your stuff ahead of your drag race graduation that you're going to have. So that's coming up. All right, so guys, here we are, players. We finally got to the end of 2019 and 2020, the year that was not. <laughs> it really wasn't much of an ending for, uh, for those of us, and it wasn't what we expected, but we wrapped up our performances and we wrapped up all of our classes with our usual high level of performance, design, and construction achievements. I know this ending has been kind of rough on you all, um, especially you seniors, and I wish we could have given you a much better send off than a drive through congratulations, but I hope that our end of the year awards tonight will help you, you know, feel a little bit like the old times. You know you're amongst people that love you. Believe it or not, some of the best work I've seen has actually come across my desk in the past few weeks. Um, I got some really excellent play scripts, some truly creative set designs, and some superb performances done virtually. My compliments to the, those of you who learned how to use gaming platforms to create sets. Um, I'd like to take a minute now for us just to look back real quick at the successes we had this year. First, um, we've seen some really dedicated and talented freshmen and sophomores join the program this year. And together, they've done some great work. Our juniors and seniors and our thespian officers have provided a strong leadership base and have welcomed our new players with open arms. Theater is one of those areas in high school activity where age and class level matter less than students' ability to connect and work together. This has been one of our smoothest, least contentious years that I've experienced in the 20 years as a theater teacher. Uh, we've really found that the family element that's key to a successful theater group this year, I think. Both young and old performers alike contributed to one of our best competition years, bringing home numerous superiors and excellence from our district festival. Our three plays all enjoyed a high level of success at the theater, Florida Theater Conference, our district festival, the Hippodrome Black Box, and in our own theater with a strong audience for every show. One of the best things for me was seeing our younger players and our more experienced players working side by side and investing their heart and souls in their work. Literally every show this year received a standing ovation at every performance, and there's no doubt that our students deserved every one of those ovations. Finally, we look ahead to next year, having little idea what lies in store for us or what our school is going to look like. But I know that with that same high level of creativity and drive, talent and determination that is the Buholtz players, we'll still have a very strong and successful year. Now I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking. You got my long speech, you should be happy. I wrote it down so I wouldn't ramble on. And I'm gonna pass you on over to Michaela Uma, our vice president, who is going to do our induction of New thespians. Michaela, it's all you. Awesome. So we don't have necessarily a list of everyone that needs to be inducted. So if you know you qualify for induction or you just like you would like to be inducted today, please participate in this and you'll you'll see in a second. <laughs> so I now ask all members of Thespian Troop 1452 to stand and say the pledge with me, or I guess repeat after me instead. <laughs> So if you are, if you are going to participate, you can um, unmute yourself for a brief moment so you can like, you know, repeat this. Um, I promise to uphold. I promise to uphold. I promise to uphold. The aims and ideals of the International Thespian Society. The aims and ideals of the International Thespian Society. I am a student of theater and excellence is my ideal. I am a student of theater and excellence is my ideal. I, I, sorry. I promise to perform my part as well as I can. I promise to perform my part as well as I can. 
to accept praise and Christian with grace. Nothing that that's that's something else. <laughs> <laughs> to cooperate with my fellow thespians, to work for the good of the troop, and to share my love of theater. And to share my love of theater. Congratulations and welcome to the International Thespian Society. Congratulations. Gene, <laughs> you must leave immediately. And I guess I now give it over to. William Buckles. That's me. All right. Um, now we are going to um, segue into the induction of the new officers for the 2021 uh, through 2022. I don't know what I'm saying, school year, whatever. Officer induction. Um, Despians, the future of our organization depends on the dedica dedication of all members and on the vision and ingenuity of the new officers. The members of our troop have selected the following officers to direct our activities in the future. Alexa Morgan, Sienna Curcio, and Sophia Vernon. This is as well as the um, tech group, uh, which will be established later on. It is my honor to confer upon you the charge of your offices in the International Thespian Society. I extend to you the trust of our members and of the society in striving for the advancement of theater, arts, and education and in our community. Congratulations. Okay. All right. Uh, next up, am I I'm still muted? No, I'm not muted. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> Just want to make sure you can hear me. Okay. All right. Next up, we're going to uh, start our Student Choice Performance Awards. Um, will and Michaela will be our MCs tonight, and they will be handling that for us as well. Um, one note about uh, the information on induction. This summer, send me an email and I will give you information on how to complete the induction process. So uh, just let me know. Okay, well, Michaela, you're back up again. And now we hand it off to Barry, Suzanne. Yeah, Collins. hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, Hello, I hope we're um, all doing well and that we're all super hype. If you're not, you should get hype because we have a lot of amazing performances for everyone to enjoy tonight. Um, starting off, we have this year's large group musical piece, um, Touch Me from the musical Spring Awakening. <laughs> um, this piece includes 15 super talented individuals. This piece received a superior rating at districts. Um, it's been the most rewarding thing I've done this year, and I'm just so incredibly proud. So um, I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Admit. Oh, yeah, to yeah, yeah. an athlete. Oh, 
It truly is daunting. I mean, how could it not? Okay, you're right. Not that I'm saying I would ever, would ever want to not, would ever not want to. Mortz, I have to go. Mortz, wait! Touch me. Touch me. <laughs> Everyone back? Everyone's back. All right. So I guess I will be starting off after that lovely performance. I know that made me um, very sad. I will be starting off with um, the best actor in a musical. Before we start, I want to tell everyone to be very kind to um, William Buckles today. He's a little um, sensitive about Will Smith becoming the role in Brooklyn, so please be <laughs> nice to him. Will Smith it's been has rough. been it's really rough. on his own lately, and I know it hurts. It's rough. <laughs> but anyway, here are our nominees for Best Actor in a Musical. We have William Buckholtz as Albert Peterson, Elliot Horwitz as Albert Peterson, Javier as Conrad Birdie, <laughs> Alex Rupp as Conrad Birdie, Elliot Horwitz as William Barfay, William Buckholtz as Leaf Coney Bear, David So as Chip Tolentino, Luke Seacrest as Chip Tolentino, Alex Rupp as William Barfay, and Alex Rupp as Leaf Coney Bear. And the award goes to William Smith as Albert Peterson. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> 
All right, we're gonna move right on. <laughs> we're gonna go on into best actress actress in a musical now. Um, and the nominees are Cameron Varvel as Rose Alvarez, Liz Ward as Rose Alvarez, Maddie Smith as Kim McAfee, McAfee, my bad, Maddie French as Kim McAfee, Amy Cohen as Rona Lisa Peretti, Casey Bailey as Rona Lisa Peretti, Emma Harder as Olive Ostrovsky, Madeline Smith as Marcy Park, Sienna Curcio as Logan Schwartz and Grubinier, Amy Hunt as Marcy Park, and Amy Hunt as Olive Ostrovsky. And the award goes to Cameron Varvel as Rose Alvarez. Thank you guys. I really didn't think that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, we're moving now on to Best Supporting Actor. Please bear with me. There's a lot under this one. <laughs> It'll take me a hot second to read all the nominees. But here we go. For Best Supporting Actor, the nominees are Ryan Savage as Harry McAfee, George Jacobson as Hugo Peabody, Angelo Crucio as Randolph McAfee, George Jacobson as Vice Principal Panch, Alex Rupp as Jesus, Elliot Horowitz as Jesus, William Buckholt as Jesus, <laughs> Alex Rupp as Carl Dad, Elliot Horowitz as Carl Dad, um, William Buckholt also as Carl Dad, David So as Mr. Obstrovsky, Luke Seacrest as Mr. Obstrovsky, and David So as Dan Dad, and Luke Seacrest as Dan Dad. <laughs> and the award goes to George Jacobson as Hugo Peabody. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats, George. All right, we're going to be moving on to Best Supporting Actress in a Musical. And the nominees are... Barry Suzanne Collins as Doris McAfee, Michaela Uman as Doris McAfee, Ginger Kohler as Mae Peter Peterson, Casey Bailey as Ursula Merkel, Sophia Vernon as Ursula Merkel, Barry Suzanne Collins as Mitch Mahoney, Amy Cohen as Miss Ostrovsky, and Casey Bailey as Miss Ostrovsky. And the award goes to Ginger Kohler as Mae Peterson. Congrats, Mom. <laughs> Yeah, she's a real good. <laughs> okay, we now have best actor in a minor role. This will also take a really long time. I'm really sorry. Um, our nominees are Joseph Lowry as Harvey Johnson, Richard Sarkey, Sarks as Charles F. Maud, Daniel Mocha as Mayor Johnson, and Andrew Hodgson as reporter. And the award goes to Joseph Lowry as Harvey Johnson. <laughs> Congrats, Joe. Moving on, we have Best Actress in a Minor Role. And the nominees are Noelle Cosette as Gloria Rasputin, Lauren Steele, Lauren Steele as Gloria Rasputin, Gabriella Rowland as Alice, Amber Bathel as Deborah Sue, Sienna Curcio as Deborah Sue, Angelina Ferrado as Margie, Aaron Cronin as Sad Girl, Gabriella Rowland as Sad Girl, Sienna Curcio as Nancy, Katie Bellinger as Helen, Aaron Cronin as Nancy, Jenny Zhang as Penelope Ann, Natalie Culleton as Susie, Emma, Amelia Rufino as Edna, Karina Batista as Miss Merkel, and Annalisa Cruz as reporter. And the award goes to Gabriella Rowland as Alice. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to what I think is the toughest category of the night. We have best non-musical performance. The nominees are George Jacobson as Vice Principal Panch and George Jacobson as Hugo Peabody. Who could it be? It's a really tough, tough category. Please do not feel sorry or bad if you don't get chosen. It's okay. And the award goes to George Jacobson as Vice Principal Panch. George was robbed. Thank George you. Robbed. Thank you. I got to say, I didn't think I was going to win this one. Thank you very much. Congrats, George. All right. Now we take a break from the Student Choice Awards and go on to our second performance, which is going to be uh, Michaela Uman performing The Next Right Thing from the movie Frozen 2. Enjoy. 
I've seen dark before, but not like this. This is cold, this is empty, this is numb. The life I knew is over, the lights are out. The darkness ready to succumb. I follow you around, always have, but you have gone to a place I cannot find. This grief has a gravity that pulls me down. But a tiny voice whispers in my mind. It's gone, but you must go on and do the next right thing. Can there be a day beyond this night? I don't know anymore what is true. I can't find my direction, I'm all alone. The only star that guided me was you. How to rise from the floor when it's not you I'm rising for? Just do the next right thing. Take a step. Look too far ahead. It's too much for me to take. But break it down to this next breath, this next step, this next choice is one that I can make. So through this night, stumbling blindly toward the light, and do. Thank you. <laughs> Think we're back, Will. All right. Moving on, we're going to do the next award. Um, is this Tech Awards now, Ted, or? Yeah, this is a Student Choice Tech Awards. Sorry, we got, I think Michaela got moved around when we changed it, but this is the beginning of Tech Awards, yes. All right, well, Javier and Brooke are going to take us away as our MCs for this section of the awards, so take it away, guys. Great. Tech Choice Awards, and by the way, Michaela, my last name is Ayala, Vermont. Uh, <laughs> I didn't want to mess up. Uh, for the best sound design, we have our nominees are Jack Sager for Spelling Bee, and believe it or not, Jack Sager and Katie Jordan for Bye Bye Birdie. And the winner is Jack Sager for Spelling Bee. Woo! Woo! Thank you. Great job, Jack. Uh, 
Brooke, if you want to take it a scroll up a little, uh, there's actually a best stage manager. I actually am going to let Javi do that one next. Oh, okay. We'll go back to it. Okay. So for best lighting design, the nominees are Dylan Tillery for Bye Bye Birdie and Dylan Tillery and Amy Hunt for Spelling Bee. And the award goes to Dylan Tillery for Bye Bye Birdie. And for best stage manager, we have Liz Ward for Doesn't Say. Um, and we have Dylan Tillery for It Doesn't Say, Ellie Gold for It Doesn't Say, and Brooke Belcher for It Doesn't Say. <laughs> Best stage manager goes to Dylan Tillery for Bye Bye Bernie. I'm assuming. <laughs> You're right, Bobby. <laughs> Great job. All right. For Best Lighting Technician, the nominees are Fisher Mendez, Sam Mendez, and Roby Hart for Spelling Bee. Fisher Mendez, Sam Mendez, and Sophie Harder for Bye Bye Birdie. And the award goes to Fisher Mendez, Sam Mendez, and Roby Hart for Spelling Bee. That's, uh... <laughs> and lastly, for, oh no, not lastly, uh, Best Sound Technician, we have Katie Jordan and Savannah Hensley for Bye Bye Birdie, and Jack Sager and Katie Jordan for Spelling Bee. Here goes to Zach Sager, Katie Jordan, for special. Woo! Good job, Katie. <laughs> for the next category, we have Best Backstage Crew Member, and the nominees are Jason Evans, Ashley Thompson, Annika Mack, and Fiona, Fiona Hunter. And the award goes to Jason Evans. Good job. And for Best Choreography, we have Gabby Rowland and Sophia Vernon for Bye Bye Birdie, and Gabby Rowland for Spelling Me. Rowland, Rowland, what am I saying? Uh, anyway, the award goes to Gabby Rowland and Sophia Vernon for Bye Bye Birdie. For the best prop design, we had the nominees are Alexa Morgan for Bye Bye Birdie, and Michaela Uman for Spelling Bee. And the award goes to Alexa Morgan for Bye Bye Birdie. Very proud to all the tech crew, and now we're passing it back to Will. Um, I think. I believe there is a performance award here. Ted, or yeah, the goose. Uh, this Maddie and Katie. It got out of. It got out of order. Who is that? Tiana. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Tiana. Okay. So next up, we have a performance from Katie Bellinger and Maddie Smith from the show, uh, Snow Show, so. This is stupid. No talking. Okay, take it out. Ramona. No talking. If you're talking, you're gonna miss it and everything's gonna be ruined. You're exaggerating. Me look up. But up, up, up. Okay. Ramona, we're 16. We're not kids anymore. Drew didn't come today, or Natalie, or Matica, or Lynn. I could have had a date today, Ramona. Sam Stevens asked me to go to the movies, and I really wanted to go. Ramona, look at me. Remember the burrito. I know, I know, I know about the burrito. But we're not kids anymore. We were, though. We were seven years old. It was the first day of winter. I know the story. I was there. Stuff, I'm telling the tale. It was the first day of winter. We were seven years old. It was Natalie's birthday sleepover party. We all ran outside to catch the first snowflake of the first snowfall on the first day of winter. And when you catch the first snowflake on the first snowfall on the first day of winter... Any wish you make will come true. We were in Natalie's backyard. Ramona, 
Drew, Lynn, Jenny, Madika, and Natalie. Best friends till the end. Our heads thrown back, tongues up. And we all wished for the same thing. And what did we wish for? Burritos. And what did we have for dinner? Burritos. Did we know that we were going to have burritos? It could have been a coincidence, but... That we were going to have burritos? No. And did we not make a pact? A high hand, shoulder slap, double spit, double hip pact to come together on the first day of winter to catch the first snowflake? I don't spit anymore, Mona. It's gross. For all of you. Again, we wish for burritos. Burritos. We could have had anything. Money, fame, health, guys, happiness. It happened once. It has to happen again. Did you just add guys to the list? I know that it wasn't a burrito coincidence. It was the world's colliding to create a magical wish euphoria. It can't be a one-time thing. It can't. Do you want a boyfriend, Mona? What? I've been hearing this whole wish euphoria speech for years now. Same thing. Money, health, fame, and now guys? Oh, maybe I'm changing things up. Ramona St. Pierre. Shut up. You want to go on a date? Oh, it's, it's nothing. I was looking at prom dresses. Ramona St. Pierre. You're a girl. You want to go to prom. Be ridiculous. Or some girl. This is a happy day. I'm not talking about this anymore. Do you like mermaid or A-line? Uh, no talking. Do you know what color? Eyes up. I think Taylor Levine likes you. Remember the burrito or go away. I can do this on my own if I have to. I'm not going anywhere. Burrito forever. Viva burrito. Well, that's excessive. Silver satin empire with a beaded bodice and a bow on the back, if you're asking. And Taylor is very cute. I didn't say anything. Good. Silver would look good on you. You weren't saying anything? I can talk to Taylor in English if you'd like. Burrito, Jenny, burrito. Ramona, look. Look at the sky, at the clouds. It's a snow sky. What? This is it. The first snowflake on the first snowfall on the first day of winter. Holy cow. I'm wishing for you, Mona. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> Heads back, tongue out. Burrito, burrito, burrito. <laughs> Okay, we'll move back to uh, Willa Michaela for the um, acting nominations. This year, our one play that was straight acting was Columbinus. So the nominations come pretty much from the performances in that piece. So Willa Michaela, you are up again. Yeah. So we have Columbinus acting nominations. And first up is Best Actors. The nominees are William Buckholtz and Luke Seacrest. And the award goes to, oh, it was a tie. Hey, I love you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't stop figured out. Hey, I love you, Luke. All right. <laughs> Moving on. We're going to go to Best Actress in uh, Columbinus. We have, uh, for the nominees, Sophia Vernon. Alexa Morgan, and Sienna Curcio. And the award goes to Sophia Vernon. Thank you. <laughs> Next up, we have Best Supporting Actor. And the nominees are Alex Rupp, Daniel Mocha, and Ivy Henderson. And the award goes to Daniel Mocha. <laughs> thank you guys. Wait, can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Oh, thanks guys. Thank you. 
Good job, Dan. All right, is there a performance piece here or we just keep going, Ted? Keep going. <laughs> Can't hear you, bud. Keep going, I think. <laughs> All right. We have for best student director, the nominees are Cameron Barvell for Columbinus, Michaela Uman for 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and Anna McFarland for Bye Bye Birdie. And the award goes to Michaela Uman for 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Gracias, senores y senoritas. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <Okay. laughs> the final award of performance and tech categories is best show of the year. The nominees are Putnam County, Columbinus, and Bye Bye Birdie. And the award goes to Bye Bye Birdie. <laughs> And with that, we bring it to Ted. Yes, I am up now. Hey folks, okay. So uh, we are now moving into my phase of the program. Um, first part that we have is the one thing that we always have to do each year. And um, there will be a, a special gift awarded for some of these people that have done extra work. As you all know, our program simply does not function without our parents and without our volunteers. Um, so we feel it's always important to make sure that we recognize those people who did extra work for us. Um, and this year, our special thanks for the program goes to Karen Bergman for helping with our, uh, basically helping with all of our concessions and organizing and that sort of thing. Um, Dory Lloyd and Lauren Smith for all the work that they've done with costuming um, and such and other things, but primarily costuming. Uh, Bobby Bellinger, who has been a huge amount of help at the box office this year. Allison Merrill, who also box office and treasury. Tim Merrill, who had came in and did a technical workshop for, uh, for our technical kids and got a bunch of them trained very, very well and also helped us tweak a few things along the way. Julie Buckholtz for all of her Woo! work in photography and the pictures that she has taken. Um, Don Uman, our departing co-president. Casey Harder and all of our other parents without whom this program could simply not survive. Okay, Michaela. We have another performance. And so that is what I'm here for, for two seconds. We now have up um, David So singing What's Inside from Waitress. Oh, I love that song. but well, we will as soon as the technical difficulties are worked out. <laughs> Sorry, we're having technical difficulties. Am I screen sharing still? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Did you not know you did? We were talking. My hands pluck the things I know that I'll need. I'll take the sugar and butter from the pantry. Flower to begin what I'm hoping to start Then it's down with the recipe And bake from the hard sugar And butter And flour And mother What's inside? Know what's inside, and I always. 
Hey, Gabby, are you? Hey, <laughs> sorry, Ted. No, that's okay. We, Here we go. We had to add that one late. You know, we know what happened on that. Okay. All right. Um, moving on. I believe I'm up again. Okay. This marks the beginning of our actual senior awards, guys. Um, I know we're looking here. Let me see if I can get the picture switched here. No, oh, it's not switching for some reason. All righty. Okay. Well, I'll talk out of the small corner then, and we'll look at Gabby's picture of me and her dog. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Um, this year we had to we had to add a few new senior awards that we didn't have before, for the simple reason that um, we didn't um, have a film class until this year. And this year's film class was our our first time working with this as an experiment. The year started out with improvisation, and then we took the improvisation and we worked it into study of film, and then we put it into styles of film, and the students did different short films over the course of the year. Um, the very last major assignment that they did was a series of pandemic films, which if you, I think I mailed it out, emailed it to you guys on Google Classroom, you can go to YouTube and you can look at those pandemic films if you want. And I'm gonna be adding the short films, the comedies and the horror pieces done by the students probably like one, once a day for the next uh, three or four days and getting them up for you so you can see them. So this being our first year with the film, we actually have some film awards for it. Um, so this year for our best senior short film producer, that means the person that perceives, that perceived it and in this particular situation directed it did the editing and put all the pieces together as well as performed in it uh, as part of it. Um, this year's best senior short film producer is going to go to Annalisa Cruz from the film class. Next award, the best senior short film performer. This particular one is going to go to the person who perpetuated some of the most interesting oddball type characters in the course of the year. Well, once we post all those films, you'll see what I mean. Um, so this year's best senior short film performer is going to be Tennyson Coates, once known as Cody Coates. Next, best senior supporting short film producer. Um, this student actually produced a film of the quality that is gonna may possibly could go to the Latcher County Park Service and it was her pandemic film and it was basically how she passed the time at the beginning of the pandemic, where she did a walkthrough hiking video of all the local parks and all the local nature trails and things like that, um, right before the, the doors locked everything in. So that is, uh, that's what Megan did, it's a nice film too. Again, it'll be up, it'll be up pretty soon. Actually, I think it's up already. And then finally, last but not least, our best overall senior short film of the year actually does go to, but did I put that? I think I just did that twice, Never mind. Uh, it's also Megan Green, okay? She was the short film performer. She was in that piece and uh, was featured in it. And then she also was the one who wrote it, wrote the narration and set it up to where she could visit all the different parks and did all the research on it as well. So that is the film awards. I'm not sure if they are on, but if they're not on and you guys see them, um, let them know to get in touch with me, please. Okay, let's move on to the more traditional awards. Every year we give this one for the best senior actor, the guy who gives the most, works the hardest, puts on some of the best performances and sings like, oh, look at there, Annalisa just got in. <laughs> Hi, Annalisa, you just missed your award um, for, <laughs> for, your, uh, for the uh, best senior short film producer. So. Um, you can get a hold of me after we're done, but I'm glad you just joined us, so welcome. 
All right. Hi. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Moving back to our best senior actor in a musical for the year. Um, he looks just as good in blood as he does in bright colors and Hawaiian shirts. Luke Seacrest, this year's musical theater actor. Okay. I know he's out there somewhere. <laughs> All right. Um, our next award to the, the girl who, again, same thing as the guy, put the most in, did some of the best work, um, at times work that even borderlines on professional. Um, it also goes to the fact of uh, the people who are most invested in their art. And there's no doubt that this particular person is very invested in her art. So our best senior actress in a musical, Cameron Varvel, for this year. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, um, we have our, let's see, supporting. Our next is our best supporting senior actress in a musical. And it should be noted in these awards that we don't just look at the one year. It's not just the senior year of these students. It's everything that they've done since they've come into the program. Often that means a rather impressive resume of one X musicals, plays, a little of this, a little of that. Some kids even delve into the technical aspects of it as well um, and become quite good at it. Um, so our next young woman who has uh, had some of the most memorable supporting roles um, in the past four years, our best supporting senior actress in a musical, Michaela Uman. Thank you. <laughs> and to our next, our best supporting senior actor. This one was sort of a, he came and he went and he came and he went, but when he came, he did really good work, but then he decided to stay for a little while. Um, he's done some great supporting work um, in shows like Putnam County Spelling Bee. Um, he has done some good ensemble work as well in the past um, and has also performed rather well um, in competition and such. So our best supporting senior actor is gonna be David So for the musical. All righty, next up, we never had this, well, we've had this category, but nobody's ever actually won it before, just so you know. This is going to be our best senior guest performer in a musical. As you know, we have got, uh, we do allow other schools to occasionally loan us their performers, or sometimes they come over and they join us so often they kind of become part of our family. Um, this is certainly um, the case with this young woman who um, has definitely earned her place as one of our best senior guest performers. That's non-student. Now, here's the, here's the good thing. I'm not going to lie. I literally thought all the way up to the beginning of this school year and the auditions for Putnam County, I thought she was at Buholtz. I had no idea she was elsewhere. So I'm going to tell you our best guest act performer is Casey Bailey. She's been around Yay, so long, I thought she was ours already. <laughs> uh -huh. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay. All right. Next, we move on to our straight to our straight plays. We didn't have a lot this year, but we have had quite a few between one acts and uh, different plays that we have done, you know, uh, over the past four years. Um, and this particular individual has distinguished himself not only as a musical theater performer, but also as a superb um, actor in a play as well. So our best senior actor in a play, Luke Seacrest. I think he's there somewhere. Keeping going. Our best senior actress in a play. The other thing that people should look at, too, sometimes when we say actress or we talk about parts and things, sometimes one role can truly distinguish you and elevate you away from the pack. Um, and you may do an awful lot of good work in your time with us, but sometimes there's that one piece that'll just get your attention and that kind of pushes you forward. So uh, our next, uh, this next young woman, our best senior actress in a play, best remembered for playing uh, opposite of another, another actress, but playing a male opposite of another of our very fine actresses is Tiana Folston. Tiana Folston. I did that on purpose. <laughs> so wrong. But I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm gonna miss you though, Tiana. I really am. <laughs> I give up. I give yeah. up. 
You'll come back later and I'll never forget again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, moving on. Um, I was not able to get a hold of this one. So hopefully I'm gonna, when I put this award out and somebody knows how to reach her, um, I would appreciate if somebody could at least get her in touch with me. Um, our best supporting senior actress for straight plays, again, for a variety of character-based roles and things and some strong performances for the past four years, not as much senior year, but for the past four years was Rachel Freeman. Um, I don't know if she's out there or not. I tried several different ways to get a hold of her and I failed. Um, so I got her I'll for tell five, her. Okay, because I got her for five seconds once on Messenger, I think it was, or some, no, Instagram, and then gone, because I don't do Instagram much. So thank you very much. Uh, and thank Rachel for all the good work that she did for us. Um, and next we have, well, there's always gonna be that person who sits in the background, We'll pick up that part that no one wants or we'll work behind the scenes or help out. So our best ensemble, senior ensemble performer for this year, uh, Zyra Diaz. Uh, Zyra, I think you're out there somewhere. Yes, you should be out there somewhere. Yes, because as you all know, anyone who knows me knows that I feel like the smallest part and the largest part are equally as important. And I really appreciate it when my students make that a reality. So thank you. Okay. Now we're gonna break it up just a little bit with another performance. Gabby, are you ready out there? Gabby? Gabby, did the dog take you away? There she is. Okay, our next performance is Maddie Smith performing her solo piece that had uh, did achieve uh, state status this year. Calm from Ordinary Days. All right, Gabby, you're up. So, I am on the six train heading uptown to my lit professor's office. It's like light years off of campus, don't ask me why. I'm sandwiched in between this guy who's literally drooling and some European hipster who, well, let's be honest, smells. Woody Allen heard Gershwin in the air when he thought man had him. Well, I'm not so impressed. I hear like Philip Glass at best. I wish I could take a second to get calm. But it's not working, because like clearly I'm a magnet for a special breed of psycho who think being weird's a valuable use of time. I'm an opaclex to wander on its own across the city, taking with it my own thesis, which I need to write like now. I don't remember the Muppets getting hives when they took Manhattan, but my own diagnosis says I'm creeping towards psychosis because I cannot find a place to get calm. It's really hard, you know, I tried to take up yoga, but you'll be surprised how Many folks don't think deodorant is in. I even saw a life coach who told me I should breathe, just breathe. But every time I took in a breath, I visualized that life coach's death. She's having brunch at Cafe Pier, and she's choking and choking and choking and choking till finally she's calm. I'm sorry anyway. I get to my professor's and he sits me down and tells me that my thesis on Virginia will feel somehow false. I tell him what I'm working from is not so much a thesis as the fact that she went crazy in that scene. Well, apropos, my professor just tosses back his head and a dry man had him. I'm wondering which will kill him quicker, the Big Apple or the liquor, when suddenly I panic and I tell myself I must get someplace calm. I up and run toward Penn Station, like I swear my head was ready to blow, and I hop a train to Jersey, just as fast as any person can go. The 90 minutes out, I get off at some provincial hamlet I've never heard of. There's a real estate office right on the block. I can afford a two bedroom, I go into shock. I think, what the heck? I write a check, cause there's sunlight and closets and laundry, but mostly it's calm, calm. Really calm. Strangely calm. Like, 
Times Square at 5 a.m. Calm. Like, totally freak me out. Calm. Like, I'm gonna slowly go crazy and throw myself off of the balcony. Calm. Damn it. So, I tear up my deposit and I head back to Penn Station. Of course, the subway's broken, so I walk four miles home. And like 14 hours later, I get back to my apartment, my crazy spastic roommates, and a room, well, of my own. I've got this black and white poster on my wall that says my Manhattan, and I give it the finger but I let my gaze linger and I notice how the people look like tiny specks of gray all haphazardly arranged just like they were in that Monet and suddenly I'm struck by this bizarre revelation that like Warren's whacked out theory might deserve some exploration I sit on my bed and I realize I'm finally calm But not yet. <laughs> All right, God, that song exhausts me every time I hear it. Um, me too. <laughs> nice work. Okay, moving right along into our senior tech awards for the four year time period. Um, all right, again, another student who did a lot of work for us and helped us a lot, especially in the tech area, but I was unable to get a hold of him after school um, got out, actually, after, well, our early spring break started. Um, and uh, so our next tech award is going to go to our best senior lighting technician. Most of you know him. If you are a lighting technician, he has probably done some sort of workshop with you sometime in the last four years. Um, but that award is going to go to James Dalrymple for best senior lighting technician. Um, but again, if any of you all know, know how to get a hold of James, please let him know. I was not able to get him on that because uh, he certainly did come in and help us quite a bit with the lights and everything while, uh, while he was with us um, all the way up to just this past year. Okay, next, there we go. Now we move to one of my favorite categories in technical theater, uh, that being set designer. I love a good student set designer and there are far too few of them. So whenever we have one, we like to utilize them. Um, this particular young woman has not only designed for us, but she has also designed for Gainesville Community Playhouse as well. On her first time out, I think she was a sophomore when she did uh, the design for GCP. Um, our best senior set designer will be Amy Hunt for this year. Well, I should say four years. She's been working on stuff for four years, so nice work, Amy. Okay, next up. Best Senior Lighting Designer. An astute student of Mr. Dalrymple and a good friend of Mr. Dalrymple and someone who works just as hard and once James left, he and one of our younger students kind of took over the mantle, but certainly this student as a lighting designer and other things. Uh, he was also, he also enjoys the distinction of being one of the last two senior techs that we're going to be having with the position as being we are basically deleting the position of senior tech and we are creating a technical leadership team, which I'll tell you the names of those individuals at the end of this part here. Um, but our best senior lighting designer, Dylan Tillery. He's very patient, I can tell you that, because he works with me on these, and sometimes it's hard for me to figure out exactly what I want. Okay, next. We have been blessed over the years by always having at least one, sometimes two, superb stage managers. Um, this year, we have a lot of younger students who are really stepping up to the plate and are doing really, really well um, as far as stage management goes. But we have one that is leaving us now, who's probably done more stage management work than anyone else. He also works on Sundays back when we, the, the church was meeting at, uh, at our auditorium. He also does lights for the church at our auditorium as well. And he has been our liaison to the band and to the chorus now for a couple of years. So our best senior stage manager, Dylan Tillery. Okay. All right. Next, 
Boy, have we done some fun makeup workshops the past few years. It all started with, you know, Night of the Living Dead a while back with toilet paper and, and white, white makeup and all kinds of stuff that should never be used as makeup and syrup, Caro syrup and things like that. Thanks to uh, one of our, our guest uh, trainers who came in, uh, JD. But we had one student who did not only took up, you know, not only learned very quickly from Jay, but already had a nice basis for it. Um, and she has turned into an extraordinarily good makeup designer, as evidenced by her successes at the state or the district, uh, the district thespians and state thespians as well. Our best senior makeup designer, Michaela Uman. If you want to scare somebody, go see Michaela. <laughs> She'll make you scary. <laughs> okay. Are we good there? All right. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still going here, guys. So, all right. Moving on to, we have another award. We, normally, there would be a Carmichael Award. I have to address this. But this year, due to the pandemic shutting down Gainesville Community Playhouse, um, the Carmichael Award has been put off uh, for this year. So we won't have a, won't be having a Carmichael Award this year, unfortunately, because that is sponsored by GCP. However, we do have our star awards. Our students who are in the star award, what this is about, these are the students who do a little bit of everything. Um, they are not restricted just to one area of expertise. They're not just you know, the best actor they can be. They're not just the best performer they can be. They're not just the best leader they can be. They're a little bit of everything. So this year we have two star awards that are being awarded. First one goes to one of our officers who's also distinguished herself as a director, as an actress, as a vocalist, and also as a makeup artist. Michaela Uman for Star Award. Thank you. Ah, ah. ah there you are. <laughs> Somebody has to talk to change the screen, you see. Okay, and next, our second Star Award for this year is going to be Someone who has distinguished themselves as a set builder, constructor, troubleshooter, and a time safety inspector because I made him. Lighting designer, officer, actor, and as well our assembly coordinator who keeps the band and the student government and the chorus and every other organization off our back at the school by setting them up for excellent um, performances and assemblies. So this year's Star Award to also goes to Dylan Tillery as well. Okay, all righty. Like I said earlier, um, the trophies are in route because of the pandemic, everything was delayed. They'll probably arrive sometime in the next 10 days or so. So look for an email, don't give up on that Google Classroom thing. I'm gonna use that to keep in touch with a lot of you. Uh, even after school goes out as well. Okay, so that now brings us to our final performance of the evening. Gabby, are you ready? Gabby? She'll respond eventually. There she is. Our final performance, Cameron Varvel, as she says goodbye. Hi guys. Um, when I was asked to sing or send in a video of me singing my solo from districts that was going to be going to states, um, I thought about it and it just didn't feel right. Um, with the circumstances, it's just not the song I wanted to leave you off with. Um, so I picked this song. It means a lot to me and um, I hope to you guys and I think you'll see why I picked it. Um, so here we go. <laughs>
But I'm not in any hurry And I need a moment A whispered conversation Things as if we never said goodbye. I've spent so many mornings just trying to resist you. I'm trembling now, can't know how I've missed you. In this ever spinning playground, we were young together. I'm coming out of makeup. Everything's as if we never said goodbye. I don't want to be alone. That's all in the past. This world waited long enough. I come home at last. And this it will be Okay, thank you, Cameron. You're one of two people in the past couple years is able to make my eyes wet. I swear, even when I've heard it before. Okay, uh, beautiful. That was nice. Um, okay, now we get to the final end. We get finally get to our ending, um, where we basically go through and we uh, award the seniors their thespian points so that everybody knows where they stood and also so we can select our top five. Um, like I said, this year is going to be nice, the top five. We don't have to fight with Anna Journey. You all get to wear all your stuff, your bad, your medallions, your sashes. I decorate your hats. What are they going to do about it? And then burn rubber going across that daggum finish line over there. 
So I wish I could be there for you guys. I was too freaking late. The 50 seats that were allowed for teachers were sold within 15 minutes, and I, I didn't get my name in fast enough. So I am with you in spirit when you speed across that, that finish line. Okay, so let's move on. Um, our senior goodbyes will be our closing, and let's talk about um, our, the successes of our seniors here over the past few years. Um, as you know, the points, the point book is taken over by me usually at the end of the year for the seniors, and I keep it to myself because I don't want anybody to actually know who ended up with what. The reason for that is that several years ago, we literally would have students who would do things, not that any of you would ever do that, but that would, yeah, they would, they would claim points for literally, you know, anything, seeing the same Disney show five times at, at Disney in one weekend. Um, they would want credit for five shows. No, it doesn't work. But um, anyway, so these points are earned by, uh, these are the ones who've come in. They've either come with points, they have done work. The uh, points that have been accumulated in film also count as well for some. Um, so the kids who took film class this year actually were able to uh, get a few points for their, their performances or their pieces that they did. All right, so here we go. We'll start out first. Our, uh, our first uh, senior this year, she came to us late after a hurricane pretty much uh, devastated her neighborhood. And she joined us uh, late in, well, I guess it was around the middle of her junior year. Um, and uh, she has been a big worker for us ever since then. Um, with 25 points, uh, Megan Tharp is our first senior for recognition. Also, if you want to see Megan, all you have to do is go over to the Pizza Hut drive through I see her a couple times a week because that's where she is <laughs> working. It's actually right at work right now. Um, so do she you? Can't make it to, so I will let her know. Let her know. Yeah. I think she's working tonight, actually. Yeah. So. <laughs> all right. So Megan Tharp was our first one. Our second is Zyra Diaz. And that was 25 points. Wrong. Sorry, Zyra. That's the wrong one. Uh, Zyra, it's not your turn yet. Forgive it. Uh, I'll come back to you in a minute. <laughs> uh, let me go to ten, tennis and coats. I like to go in order. Tennis and coats, also 25 points. Um, and then just uh, after Tennyson comes Annalisa Cruz at 35 points. And now we have Zyra at her 37 points um, for, um, for her work here in the past uh, three or four years. And understand, guys, uh, just because the point accumulations um, don't are not necessarily super high doesn't mean that the students didn't do a lot of work. Um, if you were an officer in the past couple of years, you were definitely doing a lot of work. If you have been, um, if you've been support group for our different shows or helping box office, helping concessions, doing all of that, all of that work is really important. So I am very beholden to each and, and every senior who has contributed their time to help us with the program, in addition to enjoying themselves on our stage or behind our stage. Okay, moving on. Our first honor thespian of the night. Um, these are the ones that you'll see at graduation with the nice medallions around their neck. Um, our first honor thespian is Rachel Freeman. Again, if you'll get a hold of her for me and let her know, so she'll know to pick her stuff up pre-graduation um, as well. Uh, next, also at 65 points, Tiana Folston. 65 points, our second honor, our second honor thespian. Okay. Our next honor thespian with 73 points is Amy Hunt. Our next honor thespian moving up is David So with 101 points. Next is, oh, wait a minute, excuse me. I have to, I have to correct myself. David was not only an honor thespian, he was also number five in the top five. By the way, there's not a lot of you this year. <laughs> okay, it took us a while. It didn't take as long quite to get to top five as possible. So David, congratulations. Um, you'll be getting like the purple sash, all except for top at the, Top thespian gets the white sash and everybody else gets the, I think they're kind of a lavender blue kind of thing. I'm colorblind, you know, I don't know the exact color. Okay, um, our next honor thespian is a national honor thespian. And that honor thespian is Luke Seacrest with 170 points, our first national thespian. 
Next, we have our next national thespian, Miss Michaela Uman, with 172 points. So national thespian, and number three in our top five. And next up, Cameron Varvel, our first international thespian, with 183 points. And number two in our top five. And finally, the one that we all wait for, the one that tried really, really hard to break the record but didn't quite get there, but made a good effort. Our top thespian from the past four years will be Dylan Tillery with 311 points as our top thespian. So congratulations, Dylan, Cameron, Michaela, Luke, and David. Uh, you guys, I think everybody here knows the kind of work that you all have been doing for the past four years. And uh, it was my pleasure to have the honor of working with all of you, all of you seniors, not just them, but all of you seniors. It's been a good year. Hey, considering we were cut short by two and a half months, I think we managed to cram an awful lot into a shortened school year. So congratulations, everybody. And uh, I am going to miss you. I confess, I do miss, I will miss you. But I'm not going to encourage you to come back and visit school on a regular basis unless you're seeing a show. And if you're gonna come back and see a show, talk to me. You might, have a, you might have a comp ticket available for you. Okay, so thank you to our departing seniors. And now we will move to our finale, which is our senior goodbyes. So Anna, you are up. Hi, Beholds Drama. This is Amy Cohen. I just want to Take two coming up. Streaming. <laughs> and guys, if you mute and mute your video and your microphones, it'll help. Let me try playing it from my computer real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> jungle, the mighty jungle. <laughs> Man, you're probably making me feel awkward. <laughs> Yo, so Amber got the cheese its Hello. Hello. Any jokes? Come on. No, it's not. Rabbit. Gabby, you have good jokes. I don't have any jokes right now. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hello. Gabby jokes, Gabby jokes. Yes, it's uh, my computer. Is so <laughs> so hey, do you guys like ramen? Strikes again. So I, like so. <laughs> I love ramen. <laughs> Because they're dead. Oh, my man, cooks. Yeah, so fast. Yeah. <laughs> That's my heart. <laughs> <laughs> so rough. <laughs> Carol, can you play your spoons now? Carol can play the spoons, everybody? <laughs> Wait, I Carol, I'd like to see it. She's fetching them. I would also go get them. Go get them. Yes, Carol. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
That's girls hidden talent. In the jungle, the mighty jungle. Play the spoon. Don't mind if I. Goodbye. It's just kind of. Good night. Dylan! Dylan, no! <laughs> <laughs>Hobby holds drama. This is Amy Cohen. I just wanted to say thank you one last time. Um, I know I was really a latecomer to the Beholds drama scene, but I am so glad that I got to be a part of you guys for this year. Um, doing Putnam was one of the highlights of my high school experience, which is really saying a lot because I've actually really loved high school. So I had a blast with that and um, just after that, you know, just being a part of you guys was so wonderful. Um, whenever I had a free moment at lunch or before school and I asked myself, oh, you know, where should you go? I was always like, oh, the drama room, because every time I walk in there, you guys are just so loving and just so much fun to be around. So I don't know. I just really love you guys and you're really something special and I am feel very privileged to have been a part of that this year. So thank you and I'll miss you all. Break a leg and everything from here on out. You're in Weeble Rocky, bro. Oh my god, you were in Weeble Rocky? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Okay, hey guys. Wait, were you uh, initially? No. I feel like I remember you in a costume. Okay, shh. shh. Hey guys, I'm David. For those you guys, those of you who don't know me, um, I was in the program since freshman year and I've been competing with the best district thespians in it, um, our troop since 10th grade. But this was like the first year I took the class and actually did like school shows because I don't know, I was busy in the past, I guess. But it was one of the best experiences I've ever had and definitely highlight of my school year. And um, yeah, I would just like to say thank you to everyone who was so welcoming, who were so welcoming. Um, to the new kid, I guess, um, even during Putnam. And um, I would like to actually give a shout out to all the freshman kid, freshman class, because they're doing such a good job stepping up, even though that's their first year in high school. And I hope you guys uh, lead the program in a great direction. And I know you guys will. And of course, thank you, Ted, for um, taking me to States last year and just, um, I don't know, giving me opportunities to thrive um, during high school theater, and that was a great help, um, great experience. Thank you. This is probably like my fourth or fifth take. I'm sorry that I started off so aggressive, but I'm kind of getting irritated because I don't like any of the ones that I'm saying because I don't know how to say that I'm going to miss you guys and I love you guys so much without just saying it basically. Like I'm trying to give you a whole speech. I'm trying to be nice and like memorable and have these amazing metaphors and all of these things. I just, I, I can't do that. That's not... I don't have the key, I don't have the facilities for that big man. So I am just gonna say that I do love you guys very, very much. You guys have become, and I know it's said like every year and it's cheesy, but whatever. You guys have become a family to me. You have become my home away from home. I miss you guys when we're not doing shows, when we're not doing rehearsals. I miss you guys now sitting here in my room alone, talking to my phone for like, I don't know, 30 minutes now. Um, I am so grateful that we got to do shows together and that we got to do performances together uh, with the officers. I am so grateful that we got to actually become friends, that we did things that weren't, you know, just for the program, that were just, let's hang out, let's have some fun. And I really hope that future officers can do that too, because it's great and it makes your job way more fun. Um, it just does. Uh, I also want to say that the talent that we have in this program is kind of crazy. Um, for the freshmen that have come in that are just starting, what? I don't know who told you guys that you could have that much talent, but I'm gonna need you to dial it down. And for the juniors, you guys are absolutely incredible. The sophomore is absolutely incredible. Basically, everyone is incredibly talented and I really don't know who gave you permission to do that. I would like to speak to them. So if you know who it is, please send them my way. Um, this was awkward, this was cringy. I don't know what else to say. So I love you guys and I'm gonna miss you guys. And, um, and, um, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, so, um, I'm doing this completely improvised. I wouldn't be at Buholtz if it weren't for a little show called Tommy. 
Um, I was doing that while I was also doing a PK Young show because I started out at PK Young my freshman year, and uh, I only I only like showed up to half the performances because I was also doing another show. But um, I guess I liked it enough to the point where it made me transfer. Um, there were other reasons, but I ended up transfer. <laughs> I ended up transferring to um, people. Uh, we did a little. Oh, okay. Actually, wait. No, no. During <laughs> during we will rock you. Ted took me and a couple of crazy kids to go see another performance of We Will Rock You somewhere down south. And so on the way there, Ted put on a CD in the car and it was the Evil Dead soundtrack. And I remember hearing it for the first time and I'm like, oh my God, this is so gross. I don't like any of the music in it. But then I kept on listening to it and I started liking it more. And then I watched uh, like a, uh, some bootleg video of it and I'm like, okay, I love this. And then when Ted said he was doing it, I'm like, all right, like, we, we about to do this. And uh, I've never put more blood, fake blood, sweat, and tears into a show than Evil Dead. And it was so much fun, and it was difficult, but it was amazing. And I was super proud of it, and we gotta take it to States, and that's probably one of the best days of my life. Um, but, oh, I'm going over two minutes, or I'll edit it. But, um, yeah, I just want to say uh, thanks to everybody. And I don't know if I'm going to name specific people, because then you're just going to feel bad if I don't say your name. But y'all know who you are. Um, I guess all that's left to say is, I'm going to kill y'all. I'm going to kill y'all. Hey, guys. Um too much to say but i just wanted to say thank you all so much for making this last year even though it was short um pretty amazing i really loved my time in theater um and i loved all the people that i have met through it and i know i'll have lifelong friends because of it so i just want to leave you all with one thing and it's you have the potential to do anything that you set your mind to even if it seems hard and even if people tell you you can't you can do it. Try out for that part. Do a tech job sometimes. They're pretty fun, even if they don't look like it. Um, so just, if you're interested, do it. And do it with passion and do it with confidence because you can make it happen. So, yeah. So thank you all for such a great experience and a great four years. Let me just say, this is way harder than I thought it would be, filming Senior Goodbyes. I mean, all the stuff I thought about saying the past couple years, it's just out the window. So, I don't know what to say. Um, I guess, I, did, I didn't even mean to sign up for theater. The uh, piano was full, and so I went, hey, what if I sign up for theater? That might be fun. And that seemed to work out, So, because here we are now. Um... I want to thank Ted for, you know, being a good teacher. I didn't didn't like didn't like his class when I first signed up for it, but it's it's grown on me, and now I'm really happy I joined and I stayed in the program because I don't know where I would be without it. I'd like to thank my mom for putting up with midnight rehearsals and picking me up when I needed her to at 11 p.m. at the school. Um, that's pretty nice, and I want to give a shout out to the officers. Um, I don't think I could ask for a better leadership group this year, and I'm glad that we all got the chance to bond over this past year and work together. Um, I don't want to be that person that gives a shout out to every single person in the program, but I just want all of you to know I love each and every one of you, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be at Santa Fe next year, but I'm probably not gonna be around very much. So I want all of you to remember how much I care about you because. Um, I'm not going to see you very much next year. I love all of you. And Hi guys. <laughs> I can't believe I am finally making this video after four years of watching my friends graduate and three years of having to watch them say goodbye. And I can't believe I'm now a friend. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> um, I guess start. I didn't script this out because I couldn't really think of how to, so I'm really sorry if this is 
everywhere. You all should also know it is 1.33 a.m. on the day after these are due. Um, I guess I'll start off by thanking everyone in the program. You guys really have um, changed my life. Which it sounds really stupid, but it's not a joke. Um, I walked in from this program really insecure. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I wasn't really actually interested in theater. I just followed a friend who happened to be taking the class who had a sister in the program, and um, I just found out I really loved it. And you guys have created such an amazing place for me to really grow my love and to make friends and to find a passion for the first time in my life where I really felt like I was good at something and I actually loved something and I wanted to do something for the rest of my life so um, thank you all so much for giving me that um god I really I cannot wait to see where you all are going to go with your lives. You are all going to do the most incredible things. You are all such wonderful, special human beings, and I cannot begin to describe the amount of love I feel for you guys and how sad it actually is to make this video because I never, I, I don't want to leave you guys. <laughs> Truly, I've never had such a strong friend group, such a strong support group, so many people who I knew believed and loved in me in one concentrated area. So thank you so much for changing my life and making my life so much better than it would have been without you guys. And to my fellow officers, <laughs> You'll be king for life, my friends. <laughs> I love you guys, and I'll see you on the other side. Hi, guys. I don't know how this is supposed to be done. Um. Well, this year didn't go as planned. Um. I can't begin to express how um disappointed I am that I couldn't have spent more time in this program. Um. This program has uh, done so much for me. Um, I just wish I could have had more time with you guys. Um, to all my underclassmen, uh, never take a second for granted. You have a teacher who really cares about you and um, I hope to see all of you do amazing things. I really wish I could have spent these last three months with you guys. And, um... Uh -huh. I just... I wish I could explain how much this means to me. And how much everyone in this program means to me. Um, before I came to Behold, I was looked at as not good enough and um i really led with that in his program has taught me to really believe in myself and i'm just so proud of everything uh friggy <laughs> i am just just so proud to be a part of it and i hope that you thrive, that no school year ever happens like this again, that all of you have amazing times with your life, and um, I need to apparently make, write down what I want to say, because I currently cannot get it all down, but um, I really do love you all. I don't want to do specific shout outs, because I know I'll forget some people, but I want to do two very quickly. Um, just because these people have really been 
especially the underclass. I'm not gonna do any seniors. I love you all seniors, but my underclassmen. Um, Katie, checking in on me every single day. And thank you for that. Um, I really wanna thank Gabby. I found not only a friend for life, but a sister. I am so proud of everything she's done this year and I can't wait to see what amazing things come out of that girl and all of you and Elliot and Sophia and William and oh my god all of you I love you all so much I love every single one of you with my entire heart and I cannot wait to see you all again I can't wait to come visit and see you guys in shows and see what you guys do because you are the next generation of performers and by golly, do they have a fucking storm coming. You guys are so talented and I'm just excited. Even though I'm sad that I can't be there with you guys and spend this last little bit with you guys, I am just so happy for the, the, the practically two years I got there, even though some months got taken away. I will always be a Behold player, no matter what. I love you guys. Hey guys. And we're back. Everybody's slowly popping back up. Yes. I understand no dry eyes. <laughs> I just got really like humid in here and just it's my <laughs> i know it's, that's what it is. it's humid i know and so many onions the it's sweat it gets like into, i gotcha <laughs> all right guys well i do believe the right terminology for that now would be that's a wrap and uh yeah seniors i hope you can continue on the path you're on <laughs> underclass but you're already on an amazing path and one way or the other, we're gonna we're gonna make these next few years count just as much. Seniors, good luck. Don't be a stranger. At least keep up on Facebook on times. All right, I'm still waiting for the first one to get the Tony Award, so somebody will thank me for that on TV. So you know, that's all I expect. Nothing more. <laughs> so, all right, guys. That being said, I'm gonna wipe my um, slightly sweaty eyes and um, say good night. Thank you, officers, for all your work to make this happen. Couldn't have done it without you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Out of control. Oh. Bad. Cheese. <laughs>